Okay, so today is uh, February 27th, just getting out on the farm. It's a Saturday. I'm going to uh, water my plants. Water my greenhouse. It's a little cold still, so I'm not having the greatest germination, you know, got cold nights. But, you know, it's better to get a head start on the season and get what you can. Um, so let's go into, I got my stuff hardening off there, ready to go on the ground here soon. About a week. I'm gonna go in here and check out the germination on my beds. As you can see, the arugula is coming up very beautifully. We got a nice little spider here. Where are you at, spider? There you are. Hey. <laughs> um, we've got the cilantro coming up beautifully as well. Uh, it's a little heady, even. That's good. Um, you can see it all coming up there, cilantro. We've got two lines of cilantro. Came up later than the arugula, both planted on the same day, about, I don't know, two weeks ago, something like that. So, much it takes a little bit longer to germinate. And we got our spinach here, and oh, it looks like the first set of real leaves are just starting to come out today. It wasn't like that yesterday, it's still just the cotyledons. But, um, yeah, it's a little close together as well, but. I'm gonna let it go and see what happens, and I think it'll be just fine actually if I do cut lettuce or cut spinach. Um, yeah, all through and through the bed looks really good. Uh, this soil is really holding in the moisture really well. We got a little bit of rain last night for about half an hour, it came down pretty hard, uh, which was nice. Um, kind of kept a little warmth in at night too um, but lately it's been you know getting down to about 50 degrees at night um, getting up to like 70 something during the day is this a carrot I can't tell if that's a carrot or not but if so that would be the first sign of carrots I've seen in this bed I see them. This is the first carrots. Look at that. Carrot, carrot, carrot. Carrot, carrot, carrot. <laughs> nice. So they have started to come up. Today is the day, February 27th. Um, you can see there was chard in this bed before. You can see little chard bits that are still coming up after my tiller plowed through it. Um, but yeah, look at that. More carrots coming up. Now the reason why it's only coming up in one of the uh, rows, even though it is coming over here too, I do see it. <laughs> but each line is, is a different variety. One's a tender sweet. Look at all those. This is a different line. One's a purple, a cosmic purple, and the other one is the uh, Kyoto red. I believe the middle is the Kyoto Red, and I don't see that coming up yet, but I could be proven wrong. It doesn't really matter to me to keep track of those things. Uh, I'll be able to tell once I see the, the foliage. See that? More. <laughs> That's awesome. Here's more. More. Yes. So I bet you over the next uh, three to five days we'll see a lot of activity out of this bed. And I bet you that middle row will pop up too. Pretty cool. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get on the tractor there. I'm not going to film this or anything, but I just want to let everybody know that uh, I'm going to get on the tractor there. And... I'm gonna hit those piles of manure. Got this really awesome horse manure. 
from this guy about 30 minutes away. It's a long drive, but, you know, after I get my little Ford Ranger pickup full of manure and I drive back, it's costing me about 350 a yard. Um, yeah, check out this manure here. It's really nice. I'm going to mix it with this pile of dirt I have over there. Really nice horse manure. This is what you want to see in your horse manure. You don't want to see a bunch of straw and hay and rock and other native dirt and crap. You don't want that. And you like this. You gotta like this really nice darkish brown color. Uh, smells good. And then this is what I'm gonna mix it with here. And we'll have a nice big pile, and then I'm gonna go get some more later, and it'll be really, really nice. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys the baby chickens just to see how they're looking right now. These guys have probably doubled in size over about a week and a half. This is really nice. This is the new little coop that we just made out of the storage shed not too long ago. Check out this. This is so cool. Uh, this is a. Uh, I don't even know what it was, a piece of office furniture or something like that, filing cabinet, or I don't really know. But we just turned it into a chicken uh, nesting box for all these guys. So there's about 27 of these new chicks, or pullets at this point. And we have five big birds. So we might be getting some more, I don't know. This is our little small scale. Hey guys, girls. I'm about to hang on the top of your Huh? Um, we got the flamingo and then the cat. All right, so I'm gonna get to work. Um, I'm gonna get to work on the tractor.